Okay everyone, if you're just tuning in on this video, we are making pottery for Sherry's class, doing an instructional video for her kids, and uh, this is a video that hopefully might be useful to some beginners. Okay, the next step now uh, is to drop a hole. And what that means is I have to get started, I have to get the inside of the clay started. There's lots of ways to drop a hole, just like there's lots of ways to center. The way I drop a hole is I start first with my sponge so I can have even pressure. I brace my arm on my wheel and my leg, put my hand on the clay, put my thumb as close to the center as I can using this hand also braced on my leg. I push down using my thumb almost as a tool to make a dent in the clay. I'm just going straight down. Okay, and I'm gently taking my hands away. And now what I have inside my clay is kind of an upside down cone. And let me show you what that looks like. Here's what the clay looks like from my point of view. So you can see this is kind of a, a slanted shape that goes in. My thumb made this impression. Now the next thing I want to do, especially as a beginner, is I want to measure the bottom. And I want to make sure that I don't have too much clay in the bottom. So I'm going to use my pointer tool. I'm just going to use that to put a hole in the bottom. Okay, and then from doing that I can tell I got a lot of clay. I got a lot of clay, that much clay in the bottom. So I need to go deeper. I need to dig that hole a little bit deeper. Now I have no idea. I've never done this before. I'm going to see if I can do that one-handed while I'm videotaping. So I'm using my middle finger. I'm pushing down just a little bit further and pulling out like this to uh, take up some of the clay from the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to use my pointer tool again to measure the bottom. This time I'm going to stop the wheel, put a little nudge in the bottom. See, now I have about that much clay, and that's much better. Okay, so that's called dropping the hole. Now the next step is called opening. And what I'm going to do when I open is, while I have the camera in this angle, I'll show you with the wheel stopped. I'm going to take these fingers here, these three fingers, and I'm going to slowly pull this clay this direction, and the bottom will open up for me. Okay, and that's called opening. So that is the next step. Okay, so I'm ready to open. What I like to do before I open is I put my hand on the wheel, back in the centering position, just kind of make sure that when I drop the hole I didn't get the clay off center. So I'm just kind of double checking that, keeping my hands plenty wet, the clay wet, just double checking. Okay, once I feel like I'm good to go there, I'm going to slow my wheel down a little. I'm just taking these fingers and I'm pressing in to open this up. Okay, now I am not a professional potter, I'm just a hobbyist, and so there are professionals out there that probably have videos that, that also show how to do this, and they probably do it differently and much better. But hopefully from one beginner to another this will be helpful. Now, I can tell by doing that I have taken my clay and it's off center a little bit. So I'm going to put my wrists together, my hands on the wheel, Gently, my thumbs over the top. I'm just going to hold that for a minute and help that clay to get back into center because I want it to be centered before I do anything else. Always check, make sure you're centered. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands on the clay like this, finger on the outside, this finger coming down on the top, not really putting any pressure on the sides, just on the top, 
and I'm going to do this number. It's called compressing the top. And sometimes that also helps me to get the piece into center as well. So, I've opened the clay up, slowing my wheel down even more now. Using the sponge, I'm going to sop up the extra water. And at this point, I'm going to smooth out the bottom. Sometimes the bottom, at least for me, goes straight up and straight. And I want to flatten that out just a little bit. So I'm putting the sponge in the middle and pulling towards me and just flattening out the bottom. There I go, compressing that top again. And let me show you what the inside of the pottery looks like now. Okay, so here's the inside view. Here's what that looks like now. My sponge, I put my sponge down in the middle and I pulled towards me to kind of smooth out the, the, the bottom. Compressing the top. You can see where I've done that. Uh, and so now the next step, double checking, is it centered? If it's not, I'm going to do that over the thumb number I just showed you a minute ago. And the next step then is I'm ready to pull the piece or pull up these walls. This is way too thick. I want that to be thin and pretty. So I have to pull up that clay and uh, thin out those walls. So we're ready to do that next. That's the next step. So before I go into the next step, I wanted to show you my dog, Riley. He likes to watch me throw pottery. He kind of hangs around while I'm doing that. Oh, there he goes. Say hi, Riley. Aww. Riley is saying hello to all of you. Okay, so we've got our piece. Uh, the bottom is compressed and flattened. The uh, piece is opened. And it appears to be fairly centered. I'm going to speed the wheel up just a little bit again so I can have some momentum. Still just kind of working on flattening out the bottom just a little bit. Remember I want to be real gentle when I put the hands on the clay and take them off. Still smoothing out the bottom. Okay. I wanna, I'm going to just compress with my thumbs here. Not putting a lot of pressure, just really holding that in place. Bracing my arms on the wheel. I feel like we have a little bit of a wobble there, so I just want to get that out before we start pulling. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to dribble some water on the lip, and that makes some go on the inside and the outside. Now, the next step is pulling the piece, and I'm going to move the camera over there so you can see this better.